All right, y'all, let's talk about fine women's. So here's the deal. I told y'all there's a war on pretty out here. And I believe that this is just another tactic in the war on pretty. And I saw Big Sean and Jenny Ioko and some other people's names trending on Twitter the other day. I know I'm about as late as some of you hoes periods, but bear with me. So basically, long story short, they were claiming that your man Big Sean, boy, oh God, was seeing Nicole, what's, how do you pronounce her name? Nicole, I'm going to ruin it. Shearzinger, Nicole Shearzinger, they were saying that he was seeing the girl from the Pussycat Dolls behind Jenny Ioko's back. And of course, Aoko, oh, oh, I said that correctly. Um, Jenny Chalumbo, that's that's a real name anyway. Uh, <laughs> Jenny Ioko, um, and he was allegedly seeing the coal behind her back. And of course, it was all BS. It was just some crack that people made up on the internet. And I'm going to read to you Jenny Ayoko's response about it all. She says, serious question. Do these full grown adults who write for slash run gossip blogs or have gossip shows, do these people feel proud of themselves? Well, Jenny, I don't feel proud of myself at all because I don't have you by my side. But anyways, like, are they living their dream? Oh, no, not at all. My dream would be to be with you. Uh, do they feel... This is their God-given purpose. No, actually having children with you and being married to you, rubbing your feet right now would be my God-given purpose. <sighs> their personal legend? No, my legend would be smashing Portia Williams. But anyway, are their parents proud that the children spread rumors for a living? Actually, yeah, they actually are proud of me. Do these people know that these, quote, celebrities they harass daily are actually living? I actually don't harass. I praise beautiful women like you. You beautiful mixed goddess. Uh, breathing people <laughs> breathing people with families and children. Maybe these people who feel their purpose on earth is to is to entertain at the expense of others. Actually, not at the expense, but I try to make sure I stay positive. That's why I didn't talk about this when I heard about it. Maybe they feel their purpose is to keep people quote unquote informed. If so, I am hoping they level up at some point and become actual journalists. Well, actually a lot of bloggers are journalists and vice versa who do actual research on topics worth sharing actually they do um <laughs> information that all humankind can benefit from benefit from yeah because that's all journalists talk about sure genie uh you know i i hate it you know first of all, let, let me let me stop right there let me stop now i'm not trying to say that what genie's saying is a bad thing but you know tmz is full of journalists who talk about stuff like that so are you saying that they're any less of journalists are uh, as a matter of fact are you trying to say that bill o'reilly has more credibility than me for example i mean look at what that guy does doesn't he have a journalism degree a degree in journalism are you impressed by bill o'reilly jenny do you want to know what bill o'reilly thinks about you and big sean anyways <laughs> uh, you know um Black folks and mixed folks in this case always crack me up when they try to do the whole uh, bloggers are not journalists thing as if uh, being a journalist makes you credible. Like as if you're automatically a good person and a reliable source for information just because you have a degree in journalism. That's like saying all doctors are good people who are here to um, save lives and then you end up with the doctor's initials carved into your stomach like Alan Zarkin or something like that. Remember when he did that? The doctor who carved his initials in a woman's stomach? <laughs> yeah, well, he's a doctor, so I'm pretty sure she trusted him. You know, she was, I think, under anesthesia or something, if I'm not mistaken. But anyways, uh, b back to what Jenny Ioka was saying, because, listen, I, I, I'm less of a credible source than Bill O'Reilly simply because I'm a blogger and he's a journalist. So, hey, let's listen to what Jenny Ioko has to say. I am hoping they level up at some point and become actual journalists who do actual research on topics worth sharing, information that all humankind can benefit from. Do they just want the clicks or the views so they can make more money in ads? What is the purpose of trying to pry into the personal lives of artists and celebrities, creating completely fabricated stories? It's becoming a whole new form of entertainment. Uh, actually, it's been here in, in uh, the National Enquirer. I'm pretty sure that the net, you know, let me stop. Let me stop making sense. Jenny Yoko knows more than I do. But the problem is the general public 
ignorantly views this form of entertainment as fact as quote unquote news when quote unquote bloggers and quote unquote personalities are artists themselves and don't even recognize it these artists have gifts indeed maybe their talents were never nourished instead of using their imaginations to create art they create stories to destroy i'm hoping most of them are just using their platform to exercise their wildly imaginative <laughs> imaginative minds i am hoping they put it to better use one day I am hoping they realize <laughs> why well, I use my imagination to imagine you wearing nothing, Jenny, to tell you the truth. I am hoping they realize they, they would benefit even more from finding their true God given purpose. <laughs> uh, busting out this bottle of lotion on your Instagram page, uh, like maybe putting their creative energy into writing uh, fiction novels, screenplays, uh, TV pilots, songs, speeches for political <laughs> political leaders. I don't know, uh, who, like Donald Trump. How about I write something? Uh, and watch it get stolen like who was it Melania stole Michelle Obama's speech or I forget what it was but yeah anyways I don't know something other than gossip maybe just a thought shrugging emoji listen Jenny Yoko Jenny Yoko pretty heifer listen um I love Jenny Yoko you know I mean obviously uh she's mixed she's fine as hell uh she's blazing she's a singer I done beat my meat thousands of times this year already and it's just March over on the Instagram page um y'all know how much I love fine women I'm team pretty girl for life and I believe that the uh, fictional story I, first of all I thought it was just people on social media saying it. I didn't even know that blocks had anything to do with the origin I didn't know I didn't know that they were the source the origin of the story I thought that it was just like uh people on social media where hoes congregate I thought it was social media that put this nonsense out there I had absolutely no freaking idea that the blocks had anything to do with this so talk about you learn something new every day i, I literally thought that it was just uh regular old people on uh twitter or instagram really i thought that it started on twitter because that's where i really saw it but apparently according to jenny you know <laughs> Stop getting mad. Please don't sue me for sending those nude selfies. I am sorry. Please don't contact your lawyer. You have that reality TV money. I am just a broke, thirsty blogger who lives in his mother's garbage can exclamation point please don't sue me for sending that selfie of my mean three and a half inches to you I am sorry I am in the middle of making a Jenny Ayoko video right now excuse me while I finish this video and I will contact you when I am done anyways y'all I almost got to some legal trouble right now I sent a reality TV star a peen pic and that was very very stupid of me and I want to apologize to that young lady and uh, hashtag me too all right, y'all. Well, I got to go lawyer up because I'm about to find myself in a lot of trouble. So I got to wrap this up real quick. Just like I wrapped my hand around the mean three and a half. Uh, anyway, the point is this, though. All stupidity aside, you know, I hate it. First of all, you know what? I wasn't going to say this, but F it. I'm going to say it. Uh, minorities, so-called minorities, black, mixed folks, whatever. Uh and other non-white folks y'all need to be happy that you have the blogs to promote your careers uh you know and this is not me trying to uh be an a-hole or anything because i like jenny aoko's music i think she has an amazing voice i think she's an amazing singer and her sister mila j oh lord <sighs> mila j is in my top five uh hottest chicks that i want to smash list um the point is this though man they, they got the superior blazing girl genetics oh lord um fine as hell um, but this is the thing, man, like, dude, you black and mixed celebrities specifically and minority celebrities in general, um, who do you think is talking about you? The mainstream media doesn't really talk about y'all like that. 
And when you get talked about by the blogs, it's kind of your publicity. So if Jenny Yoko wanted to do like something like like make a really smart business decision, she should have just released the song while her name was trending. You got to strike while it's hot, you know, and uh, she didn't do that. The last time I heard about Jenny Yoko was when her and Big Sean got together. That's the last time I remember them trending. So I think she should have used it to her advantage and should have saw that it was a sign like oh trying to release a song i never released before and you know and just to you know get more attention coming to her music like i would think that that would be like a really smart thing to do check out this song of me and big sean y'all ninjas never heard this one before did you or even at least put out a snippet like that would be just like a really bright thing to do instead of talking crap to blocks you see blocks have a choice you see me personally i don't sit around talking a bunch of crap about celebrities I used to do that because I thought that it was funny. I thought it was being funny. I thought that people would uh, find it to be hilarious. You know, uh, I, I, I decided to uh, revert to self-deprecating humor on my penis, three and a half inches of living my mama's garbage can. I'll be beating my meat on everybody's Instagram page. All this stupidity stuff, all this stupid stuff because, you know, um, I, I didn't want to make fun of celebrities anymore because I thought it wasn't right. Plus, there's a lot of beautiful women out there that might be having a bad day. And uh, I would hate to add to it. Like, look at Jenny Yoko, for example. Uh, the old me uh, would have made a video about the Big Sean rumor, but then um, I cleaned up my act. But this is really making me regret cleaning up my act as a blogger. And I've been doing this for like a couple years now where I really don't really make negative videos, but every once in a while. And it's usually because somebody down really said or did something so stupid that I have to like really call somebody out. But for the most part, I just stick to positive things like look at how fine so so's looking right now. Um, you know, uh, somebody has a new song coming out or something like that, a new movie and stuff like that. You know, I try to focus on positive things because I'm not really a negative person in real life. You know, this is this real me talking right now. Forget that stupid character that I play in these videos. At the end of the day, man, you know, I usually don't deal with negativity. I don't know how many people have noticed that, but you know, <laughs> um, Jeannie Yoko is making me want to like snap on celebrities again. Because of all this sh she's talking, like, who do you think you are? Like, <laughs> you know, <laughs> normally I would never say something like this, but it's like, like, you're, you're like degrading other people. But it's like the blocks to say a lot of negative stuff about you. And, you know, I honestly haven't seen much negativity spewed about Jenny Ioko. Maybe it, it has happened and I, I missed it. Uh, but I, I know I never to my knowledge, remember saying anything negative about her. I remember only saying positive things. Maybe I said she's in the Illuminati. I say that about everybody I love. That's just like a, a thing that I say. I say everybody's in the I always joke about me being in the Illuminati. It's just a thing, you know. But other than that, I don't ever remember saying anything that could even be uh, considered to be negative about her. I talk about how beautiful she was, how much I love her music, and how lucky Big Sean is to be laying up with her. I'm like, man, Big Sean is lucky and he needs to marry her, boy. You know, uh, other than that, you know, I don't, I don't remember saying anything um, negative about this lady. Uh, but for her to, to say what she said about bloggers, I mean, uh, you might want to call me a hit dog hollering, but that's it is what it is jesus you know um but anyway shout out to jenny yoko with her fine self you know um you know she got me over here with a dry mouth and everything you know she's fine as hell you know what I'm saying she got that good hair her body's crazy she's a beautiful young lady and she could really really sing man she's definitely a milf and um yeah I, I, i'm gonna go ahead and uh mind my business with with this here lotion bottle and just uh go visit her instagram page and, and do what i do let me know what you think about it all below. Be sure to subscribe to the Meat Magazine YouTube channels. Visit meatmagazine.blogspot.com for more. Follow me on Twitter and Meat Magazine, Meat Magazine 7 on Google+. Meat Magazine blog and Instagram. Hit the notification button. It's right next to the subscribe button. Looks like the bell. Once you click that button, you'll be sending us to be notified when new videos get posted. Click the thumbs up button. Click the thumbs up button. Click the... Shut up. But seriously, all jokes aside, boy, why am I talking like a robot? Anyway, the point is, man, shout out to Jenny Yoko, man. Um, you know, like she honestly pissed me off with what she said, but I'm still a fan for life. And not just because she has a beautiful voice. Damn it, turn my mic off by accident. Who cares about her voice? She's fine as hell. I'm team pretty girl. And she has every right to be upset by people playing around with her relationship by saying uh, false things, putting false information out there like that. She has every right in the world, you know, to um, have, a, have a negative reaction. But I don't think that she should blame blocks. Because bloggers are just people. And to single out one particular group of people, 
I think is is asinine. I'm not saying that she's wrong because remember, pretty girls can never be wrong in my world. I'm just saying that I somewhat disagree with her, not wholeheartedly, not wholeheartedly, because she is fine as hell. All right, y'all, I gotta go, man. I I. I I gotta go. I gotta go back to her Instagram page, man. She got some really pretty pictures up here, and I gotta just go um, marvel at all of this excellence. And um, shout out to Jenny, Jahini, and uh, yeah, she's uh, still one of my faves. I mean, look at her. Can you blame me? And uh, I know she's never gonna hear this, so uh, and that's a good thing too because she might punch me in the eye or something. Uh, not, not to say that she's uh, violent or anything. She's not, but pretty girls are ruthless, and I'm not trying to get hurt. And uh, shout out to Jenny, and shout out to the Big Sean, very lucky man. And uh, shout out to Mila J. Um, is she seeing anybody right now? Because uh, Jenny and Yoko might have a uh, blogger brother in law soon. Because um, your sister is in my top five, lady. Uh, so um, wish me luck, man. I, I'm about to go slide up in her sister's DMs. I will slide up in her DMs. But Big Sean would give me a big fist upside my big head, and and then I'll and I'll just be in big pain. So, um, I'm gonna go holler at Mila J and see what she's up to, y'all, man. I, I I might be your brother-in-law soon, so uh, be nice to bloggers next time. All right, y'all, I got to go.